Preparing for a long day out on the, well, little on the river, mostly on the lake. We're at the refuge launch. Plan on making it all the way up to the top of the lake all along Leonard Marsh. Yep, I see it. The oxbow on the other side of this little oxbow horseshoe, horseshoe pond, which we'll be going by in a moment, and then we'll be going to a section of the Megalloway that we haven't been on for years because we're always too attracted by all the gorgeous backwaters leading up to here. So supposedly, Tina said you can actually see Little Marsh from the Oxbow. And supposedly, it starts shortly after. Nearing the end on the Galloway, and up ahead somewhere is a little cutaway that we're going to look Running. for. Absolutely great. This is coming out to the little shortcut. Here's views from one of the campgrounds up here. <laughs> we ain't mind this one. It's pretty amazing. Whoa! whoa, whoa. After climbing a very steep stairway up to that beautiful little camping spot, we're now heading down a channel towards Leonard Marsh after we've eliminated a nice big leech off his foot and a fishing spider was removed, thank you Jesus, from the wildlife. kayak. Yeah, wildlife I can do without. Coming out of that beautiful little cove and right around the bend. Here we are. We're going around this bend. And there's another climb. This one just a little ways back too. Yep. There is Paradise Point. And rapid rivers over there. Up beyond that cove over there, Sunday Cove. And around the corner, we'll be able to see Sturban Cove. Here's a little inlet. Continuing to go around. Thought the stump might have been the end, but it's not. Oops. I'm going to call this the end of the line. It goes teeny, probably goes around some, but I don't know if we can get past anything more. Yep, see it up there? Yeah. 
how far that goes in. Ways looks like. This is a little inlet, but it's cute. <laughs> That's cool. It's pretty. Did I say it's a tree that's alive? Ooh, what was that? Hmm. I've probably never been this far up the lake. But got another long stretch to go. I'm going to march. We've been traveling along Glen Mars for a while. We still got a stretch to go. So, what kind of trees are those again? Probably black spruce or I don't know. Oh, they're riding on its back. What? Lenny. They're on the line riding on its back. Oh, wow. I don't know what it is. No, it's a merganser. See the hairdo? Oh, they're just on the other side of her. It's just a wild hairdo. Found it. We made it to the inlet, which we will follow after that great fun little time with a merganser, mommy and her babies. Definitely wild, huh? This little stretch. Here's another little arm. It's so wild out here. They just go off in all these different directions. Fish jumping. And something there, some really 
strange noise back there, but we have no idea what. Anything could be back here. This is our picnic spot. Lunch spot. Not too shabby. A lovely place indeed. I think I had my photo on. <laughs> There's the way out. We're thinking that we're just about at the that? end of Lennon Marsh. That's what we're thinking. Getting closer. Getting closer. We're getting closer. Somewhere over there are flowers. Here they are. Down here, though. I guess we don't turn around. Yeah, I bet. It's a lot of dead trees at this end. Coming to a tip. That could be it. I don't know. We'll There's see. a cool shore along here. Wow, that one really goes up there. I don't even see it. It's got to be there somewhere. Here, I made it to the end of Leonard Marsh. We're way up high on the lake. We're at the way northern end. We're not at the tip of the northern end, but we're at the northern end. I think we did great. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have ice cream when we go home. I'm gonna have some ice chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> Celebrate. Northern end of the lake. Well, not the northern tip. <laughs> but there's a marsh over there. How will we do this? How can we're we heading do this? further up. Maybe to peer into Sturbing Cove. We'll see how far it actually is. It's a lot of boulders. <laughs> Here we are at the tippity top of the lake. Big rocks. Big. Sturdivant. Cove. And this is as far as we're going today. Which is pretty far. And Sunday Cove's over there, which we're not going to do. And the rapid river's down there somewhere. But what we're gonna do... So we shot across in a diagonal. We made it across what took us hours to go around. Probably three hours to go around. Took us about half an hour. Oh, what's that? Oh, the GBH. GBH, I think. So here we are, back to that duck blind way back when. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll find out. Maybe it is. I don't it know. Is. It is? Yeah. This is the little shortcut? Yeah. Oh. Back on the Megaloway, 
We'll be going by the little oxbow slash horseshoe pond. All our favorite backwater areas. And to the refuge we go. Oh, well, I guess it's dramatic now with this. I rest a couple minutes here at the rock. Boat went by, asked if we needed help. We should have said yes. <laughs> We almost said yes. <laughs> we were smart, we would have. But now, the last leg of the journey, which is usually I hate to see roads, but I smiled and laughed because it means we're getting um, we're getting close. There's hope. We made it past that big leg on the McGalloway, the straightaway. Too bad. The Galloway Wind Tunnel. Yep. It's so serene right here in that little patch. Noon on our last the little sign I've been longing to see. It kept being eight tenths of a mile away. It was working. I could figure out how long we were out there. Seven hours and let's see, 30, 53, nine.